Uh, you pop the back and you have access to your tubes here. Or you don't have to have the back off to get access to your tubes. You can pull them out from right here. And all you do is pay attention to the to the tube pins. And by the way, this stuff is incredible. I don't know what it is. It probably tells you what it is. I don't know if it's Kremlin. It's K Laboratory, so it must be. This stuff is incredible. Um, the tech over at PV turned me on to it. It's called Funk Out. And whatever this is, it does the job. You gotta really be careful with cleaners these days because as they make things more out of plastic, that's usually not in good tolerance. That's more in um, the digital rack mount keyboards, things like that, as, as, they, as those pots get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Uh, you have to be really careful on your cleaners. You get right up. There's a little place inside the pot. Like that. Make sure you're in there. Give it a little slurp. Just going down the line. And you want to work it. If you're ever in a jam at a gig, you don't even need cleaner. I mean, you do, but if, if you're in a jam, you get a scratchy pot. Sometimes just working it back and forth will work the dirt out of it. A lot of people don't know that, but if you're in a jam at a gig at the dirty pot, I would do that just to get through the gig and then clean it when you can. Same thing all the way down. This stuff, you just need a very little small squirt. You don't need you don't need stuff dripping everywhere. You can clean the switches. Then you can just take a regular jack and um, clean it. Clean your jacks like that. Do that for the customer. 